Hey everybody, welcome back to Photorec.tv. I've got three goals in this video. One is to give away these really nice Think Tank Everyday Carry Tech Pouches. Two, to share with you my Everyday Carry. What do I bring with me? And I've got that categorized into three categories. And the third goal, it's confusing because I just said three, but that was about three categories. My third goal for this video is to know what your everyday carry is. And I'm excited. I've got a link to how you can win these. It's right down below this video. Plus everything I'm gonna talk about is linked down there. But let's just dive in and start with the smallest pouch. This is the Think Tank Everyday Carry Tech Pouch 5. It's tiny. And now this is my true everyday carry. This little pouch is with me all of the time. Let's open it up. It's got a nice little zipper and inside, I've got a couple of things, a couple of things, a little bit more than that. First thing inside is this small MISO 6000 milliamp battery. I really like this because it has built in cords for Apple USB-C, which is what most of my devices use. And maybe more importantly, it has a standard USB that you can plug in whatever cord you need. You can also charge it via USB-C or micro USB. USB-C, that makes me happy. And they're over in these little kind of elasticy wire containers. I have a micro USB cable and a standard USB-C cable if for some reason I needed to plug it into something else. I also got a little carabiner. This doesn't come with these tech pouches, but they have this nice little loop to be able to put that carabiner on there. And I could leave it out and zip this mostly closed, or I could take that carabiner out and carabine it on one of these little loops here if I needed to do that, or use it in some other fashion. Carabiners are handy. I also have in here the Pixel Buds Pro. These are noise canceling. I love how small and compact these are. These are great for when I'm traveling and I'm really trying to keep my weight down. I also have my Pixel Watch Charger. I have a love-hate relationship with my Pixel Watch. For a smart watch, it does a decent enough job. Inside this little zipper pouch over here, I've got some Burt's Bees chapstick. It's always nice to have. I have got a little lens cloth, McKay. Photography Academy, that's always nice to have. And even though this is a tech pouch, I have a non-techy thing in here, a little pen. It's nice and useful at times to be able to write things down on physical paper. Let's move on to the EDC Tech Pouch 10. This is a larger size. It's about double the size of the five, hence the 10. It's got dual zippers, which make it handy if you stuffed it really full, which I have. And we open this up. And we can see that this is my tech pouch or my everyday carry for more adventurous activities. Let's start with this little orange guy here. This is a Garmin InReach Mini. This is really nice peace of mind when I'm out of cell phone range, especially with clients, because it allows you to send an SOS and or just communicate with friends and family through satellite messaging system. There is a monthly charge for that, but it is incredible peace of mind to know that wherever you are in the world, you can reach somebody if you need to. And that's nice. I get those emails from Garmin that have these rescue stories and they're always really impactful. And yes, I think this is going to be outdated in a few more years as phones add more and more satellite capabilities to them. But again, this battery life, and it also will do tracking that I can then use to geotag in Lightroom. So this is a device that I am gonna to continue to carry with me for some time. I also have a little Loom Cube flashlight over here. Just love this small size and it is bright. And each time you click it, it's a little bit brighter and it's waterproof. The only real downside I can say to this is that it's micro USB charging, not USB-C. So I do still have to carry around a cable for that. I do have that cable in here as well. I try to make each of these pouches self-contained. So anything in here doesn't rely on me carrying another one of the pouches. So they're really kind of grab and go. Right here, I've got the charger for my Garmin watch. Yes, I talked about my Pixel watch and it's a decent smart watch, but when I'm really hiking longer distances, I need to keep track of my distance and mileage, uh, not just because I want to have that on Strava, but it makes a difference when you decide whether or not you're too tired, continue to the peak, you should turn around. It's a safety issue to know how far you've gone. And yes, you should never just rely on these electronic devices, but again, they are helpful out in the field. So this is my Garmin 
instinct older and this is its charging cable. I've marked it with a little orange uh, bit of tape because it makes it really easy to find and grab when I need it. And then in here, I've got another charging cable for my Aftershocks headphones. These I really mostly use when running. I love these. These are bone conducting headphones. I've talked about them in other videos in the past. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about them, except when you wear them, they are virtually weightless and they just sit here against the side of your head. They work. I've had these now three, four years and I run fairly often. They're waterproof. I don't have to worry about sweating. I can just wash them off in the sink when I get home. I absolutely love these. Can't say enough about them, about a hundred bucks. I have over here, taking up a large amount of space, a much larger battery. If you're gonna bring electronics into the back country, one, you shouldn't rely on it, but two, you should have a big spare battery to be able to charge anything that's important to you and keep it running. And then I've just got a nice little flip knife. I found this in the dirt a decade ago and uh, cleaned it up, oiled it, and it's a nice little knife. I mostly use it for opening packages. That's my tech pouch. Ten. All right, the Tech Pouch 20. This is my computer pouch. So I've got in here two of my SSD drives. One is for video work, one is for backup. My main one is attached to my laptop 99% of the time. I have a little pouch for that, so that's where that goes. This Tech Pouch is nice because it has these nice little clear pockets. Over on the other side, I have these nice USB-C cables. These are high-speed data transfer cables. Sometimes I find that people are using uh, any USB-C cable they have lying around their house to connect to their hard drives, and it is much, much slower than the hard drive speeds they uh, support. So make sure, I've got a post about that. I'll link that down below along with the links to these. You spend a little bit more, but these can charge just as well as the cheap cables can, and of course, support the high data transfer rates. Got another carabiner in here too. Up in this little zipper pouch, I have the Anchor, USB-C charger. This supports up to 65 watts. That's enough to keep my MacBook Pro 14 inch M1 charged. Now, when I'm really using it, like maybe exporting a video or something, it's not gonna keep it charged to 100%. But that length of time is nowhere near as much as I would need for this to be running at its full power. So this is a really nice replacement for that huge MacBook charger that Apple sends. And along with that is one of the MagSafe cables. I have two of these Apple MagSafe cables. They're a little expensive. Yes, I could use USB-C, but it's a nice peace of mind to have that MagSafe connection when you're on a plane or traveling. And this one just stays in here. So I know if I grab this bag, it's the point of all of this, right? That I have with me everything I need. Oh, also in here, I have one of these little USB-C to USB-A connectors. And then I've got an old school USB flash drive oftentimes used to have clients transfer me something, uh, larger files or something like that, that AirDrop might not work. That's all on that side. Over here, I've got a couple more USB-C cables. And then in here, I have a hub. And, you know, with the MacBook, it's not as necessary uh, because I do have an HDMI out, but this is nice because it's got a built-in SD card reader as well. It's got a couple more USB ports. I really, again, I'm only using this when we're running image critiques or teaching during a workshop, but it's nice to have along. And I've also let uh, clients borrow it as well sometimes. And then right here, because I am using a Sony uh, A1, with CF Express cards. This is the Sabrent CF Express card reader that I tested. It's only 30 bucks. I tested this versus Sony's $120 and it is just as fast, if not faster in some cases. And then I have an HDMI cord uh, for hookups to TVs and projectors on the road. A little bit of bright green gaff tape comes in handy at times. And there should be one more. Oh, it's, is it in here? It fell out already. This. This is a little cam link, USB to HDMI or HDMI to USB is what I should say, that allows me to record my screen uh, directly from the camera into the computer or stream live if I want, because uh, I don't have one of the newer Sony cameras that does that. So that's nice there. And that's it. So three tech pouches now, mostly empty, very messy. What I wanna know, is what are your top three everyday carries? What goes with you 
everywhere, always. Put those in the comments right down below. And the very first link under this video is the entry form for this giveaway. All the details are there, a little bit of fine print, nothing serious. I hope you win. I'll be picking a winner in about two weeks from the date of this video going live. So that date will be there on that giveaway page as well. Thanks to Think Tank for allowing this to happen. Thanks for Think Tank for making some cool products. They have been killing it lately. Not only do we have these nice tech pouches, they just released that limited edition XP version of their backlight bag, which is gorgeous, beautiful, and I'll talk more about soon, and some really nice suitcases. Think Tank, does rolling bags really well. I have had one of their rolling camera bags for many years, and now they're gonna take that idea, and they've got a suitcase built on the same principles, and it is really nice looking. So check all of that out, links below. Thanks so much for watching, bye-bye. <music>